There were more than 111,000 overdose deaths in the United States last year. In Ohio, the 2022 numbers haven't been released, but there were about 5,200 deadly overdoses in 2021. Ohio and Michigan are geographically appealing for drug traffickers. I-75 can bring supplies right to our front doors. Lead investigator Brian Duggar takes a look at the ever-changing drug trade in our region. America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. In order to fight and defeat this enemy, it is necessary to wage a new all-out offensive. More than 50 years later, President Richard Nixon's war on drugs is still being waged. And one of the front lines is in our backyard. I-75, it's a main conduit through six states, so from Michigan all the way down to Florida. According to the Ohio State Highway Patrol, no section of the interstate is more drug filled than the roadway that runs through Wood County. 2,057 drug seizures in the past five years. That's nearly twice as many as any other section of I-75 within the state. The number includes 23 seizures of deadly fentanyl pills and powder. Fentanyl has been the game changer. Uh, it is absolutely um, the biggest drug threat we've ever uh, faced in this country. Fentanyl and other opioids killed more than 75,000 Americans in 2022. It takes as little as two milligrams of fentanyl to be deadly and it's incredibly cheap to produce. They make these pills down in uh, Mexico and get them up here. They're doing it for 10 cents. So when you think about this, they're killing Americans for 10 cents. U.S. Representative Bob Latta of Bowling Green recently championed the Halt Fentanyl Act, which would permanently classify fentanyl, even in a diluted form, as a Schedule I drug, putting it on the same level as heroin and making it easier to prosecute. Now, the House passed the bill, the Senate yet to vote, but the bill has the support of President Biden. By making it a Schedule I permanently, for a fentanyl related substance, we can make sure that we're putting the bad guys behind bars. For the past year, the Detroit Division of the Drug Enforcement Administration, which covers Michigan, Ohio, and Northern Kentucky, participated in Operation Last Mile. Nearly four million doses of fentanyl were recovered. 16 arrests were made. The focus was the Mexican cartels that use I-75 as a pipeline. It's startling to hear they are active in the region, but they are here. Operation Last Mile, uh, this was a coordinated effort between the 23 DEA domestic field divisions to target associates, domestic associates of the Sinaloa and Jalisco, Jalisco New Generation Cartel. Uh, we do have uh, cartel presence in uh, the city of Detroit. Detroit Police Captain Anthony O'Rourke coordinates with the DEA, State Highway Patrol, and other departments, even in North and South Dakota, to cut down on supplies. And I-75 runs right through his city. Detroit uh, has always been historically a destination uh, location for drugs, which means that this is where they usually end, right, once they get here, and then it's sold locally. And he parrots what other drug fighters say about the changing drug landscape. It was first off the heroin uh, deaths, and then it transitioned to fentanyl and carfentanil, these exotic mixtures, right, that are cheap. And uh, as these uh, users are chasing the next high, they're really not concerned about what they're putting into their body. Distribution methods continue to evolve. You know, it used to be prevalent in Detroit where dealers would take over vacant houses uh, that's not as much anymore. Uh, there's a lot of dial a dope, right? People will be picking up and delivering it by cars, making the transactions harder to track. So obviously cartels and, um, and their associates and individuals who are looking to traffic, uh, to traffic drugs and, and, and fentanyl and fake pills in particular uh, have found the internet to be a, a, a conduit for that. They've found that to be a very um, easy way to reach a larger demographic of, of users and of customers. Emojis act as advertisements on social media. A rocket ship, cannonball, an explosion combination designates high potency. 
fentanyl or other drugs laced with an opioid for an added kick, a kick that can be deadly. Fentanyl poisonings don't just happen to other people. You don't have to be a misuser, a chronic misuser of drugs for that to happen to you. The severity of the consequences is just, you know, stuff. You know, it can't get any worse than that. Now, Agent Green mentioned to me that cartels are getting more sophisticated as far as who acts as a middleman or even the dealer. It's not usually the man standing in the corner anymore. Sometimes, he says, it could be your accountant or even a guy at your PTA meeting. Unfortunately, like many things, money talks when it comes to the drug trade. Porting in studio, this is Brian Duggar for WTUL Alive.